to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of the new 2016 launch Pitbull Cuba Woman. So this perfume launched this year, like I said 2016, and it is the third installment in Pitbull's fragrance line. Um, and the reason I say it that way is because he always releases the male and the female at the exact same time. So this one is similar to um, last year's, which was Pitbull Miami, except for it is Pitbull Cuba. So on the front it says Pitbull Cuba, and then down here it says, oh, maybe we can focus, Woman, Eau de Parfum Spray 3.4 ounce Vaporizer, and then it's got the Cuban uh, stripes going up this way, and then the top has the Cuban star. The only thing I wish is I kind of wish that the triangle on the Cuban flag would come down onto it. This side of the box has just a pair of women's legs. This side of the box has this lady down here and then kind of just some Cuban inspired designs and then the bottom of her, or the top of her, bottom of her head, top of her head sort of thing and the back has a pit bull, picture of Pitbull. What I find really really funny about this is so it says Pitbull Cuba up here and doesn't say anything down here but the way that this package was designed so he's leaning and there's like a darkness here but if you turn the box this way it totally looks like he's got like women's legs coming up on. I, I think it's funny. So, box looks like this. The bottle looks like this. So it is clear on both sides. Non-frosted, just straight clear glass. And then it's got this diagram of a woman on the back and it says Pitbull Cuba down here. And then it has this, which is a sticker pretty much. Um, and then it's got a red lid and a silver sprayer. So, um, same kind of that uh, skyscraper-esque design that we're used to seeing. Notes for this one, top notes are bergamot, mandarin, and honey pimento, white pineapple, with base, or heart notes of orange blossom, magnolia, freesia, and mimosa, with base notes of amber, blonde woods, and musk. So, I will say, out of his three, this is probably my favorite, or at least second favorite from him. Um, I actually really, really, really like this one, and I've worn it the last couple days. So, when you first spray it, I definitely get a little bit of that mandarin. Um, it definitely has kind of an orangey opening. Not like super clean, like cleaning product orange, but definitely very orange. Um, bergamot adds a little bit of a freshness to the top. It's I definitely feel like the orange, the mandarin are mixing really well with the bergamot. And normally when you have mandarin and bergamot in a fragrance together, the bergamot isn't as... Uh, the bergamot overtakes the mandarin, so they've reversed it, which I find really, really refreshing. You get a little bit of that honey pimento. It kind of adds, like, a little bit of a sticky fruitiness. If you ever had a honey pimento, you would definitely know what I mean by that. Um, I get a little bit of the pineapple. It adds a crispness to it. Um, but definitely the standout note in this fragrance is in the heart. I get a little bit of the orange blossom. Definitely, I feel like it's kind of adding a little bit of a floral orange to the fragrance. Um, but I definitely feel like that mandarin, you can smell it a lot. Then we get down to the magnolia and the freesia, which both just kind of add a, a girly feminine to this fragrance. I don't think one is more picked out than the other. They're definitely both very much there, and you can smell both of them. Um, but the mimosa is the standout note of this fragrance. It has a similar, like... They're not similar. I don't want to make it sound this way because I don't want it to be like, oh, this is a dupe of. It's not. But it has that same crisp, like, refreshing alcohol note that is in Eris by Paris Hilton. But they don't smell the same. This is definitely more fruity and more tropical. But the mimosa adds that same kind of crispness and edge to the fragrance that Eris has. Um, as it starts to dry down, though... Um, I definitely think the musk, it's not super musky, and it's not super amber heavy. This whole fragrance is very, very light, and when you smell it, it's definitely something you would think would be more of an eau de toilette than an eau de parfum, because it is a very light and fresh fragrance, um, but definitely very, very, very fruity, 
on me, it lasts, I would say, about five hours. I wish it lasts a little bit longer. It lasts about four to five hours. Um, and it doesn't project out super far. I definitely think it's, it, you would have to be, like, sitting right next to someone, um, to be able to smell it on them. I don't think you had to get super close and intimate to smell this fragrance, but I don't, definitely don't think it's going to be something that someone sitting next to you at work or, you know, if you share, like, an office with someone and you guys are on different sides of the room, someone's not going to be able to smell you. I definitely think they'll catch a whiff of you if you walk by, but it's not going to be one of those fragrances that people, it's, a, it's not a statement fragrance that people are going to know you're wearing a fragrance. Like, this is just very light and fresh and feminine and pretty. Um, very summer-esque, um, and a kind of a nice, refreshing fragrance for winter. Um, even though, like, Cuba and stuff like that, they're still in a warmer climate because they're closer to the equator. It's still a nice, like, I would say this fragrance would be really, really well in, like, the spring and summer. In that kind of, like, 60s, late 60s, 70s range. Um, I definitely think it would work really, really well in there. So... There you guys go. There is my review of Pitbull's Cuba Woman. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A.S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And don't forget to hit the bell symbol. It helps me out, lets you guys um, get notified when I'm getting videos. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video because that also helps me. Um, and request videos. I'm definitely going to, like I said in my previous video, I'm definitely going to try to get um, better at doing videos at least every Friday for you guys. If you guys won't get one, you'll at least, if you don't at least get one, you'll get two as well, if that makes sense. So, we'll see what happens in the future, and definitely some fun things coming up. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!